Hello everybody and welcome to a train simulator video. Today we shall be driving the Arriva Trains Wales class 175 DMU from Bridgend to Swansea. So the first thing we need to do is we need to turn off the pause menu and just before I started recording I have already set the train up ready for departure so the train's already in gear and we are ready to go so we're just going to press A and start accelerating now Our train is operating 1 Victor 40 Manchester Piccadilly to Carmarthen and this is the second part of the scenario in the South Wales coastal Swansea to Bristol route the first part of which we've already covered so if you haven't already seen the first part I will put a link uh, to that video in the description and also using the, uh, uh, the uh, link cards as well on the uh, actual YouTube screen So our speed limit is just now increasing to 90 miles an hour. So I'm just going to apply full power now. And first of all, I'd just like to start by apologizing. Uh, in the first video, I uh, got distracted by the driver's safety device whilst trying to remember what type of train the class 175 replaced when it entered service. And it was in fact the class 101 DMU. I have tried to fix that with the uh, YouTube annotations, but I do realise that the annotations do not work on uh, you, uh, on certain YouTube apps such as mobile and smart television. Um, so if you have been watching the video through those formats, then uh, I apologise for that. But the Class 175s were built by Ulstom at Washwood Heath in Birmingham and introduced to First North Western between 1999 and 2000. And in 2003, uh, a handful of sets were transferred to Arriva Trains Wales, though some sets remained on lease to First North Western until 2006, uh, after First North Western gave way to First Trans Pennine Express and the 175s ended up being displaced by class 185 DMUs. The speed limit is now dropping back down to 75 miles an hour. And then not long after that the speed will be increasing to 85 miles an hour. On this journey we have a number of station stops to make and our first station stop in about nine miles is Port Talbot Parkway. Then after that it is Neath and then finally is Swansea in about 22 miles. And that is where the uh, scenario will end. As we reach the top of this hill the speed limit increases to 90 miles an hour and then just after the next signal it increases further to 100 miles an hour.
bit of a bump there as we crossed over the points. As we are going uh, downhill rather rapidly here, I'm just keeping a constant eye on the speed. We're going to start dropping the power down now as the uh, speed limit is due to decrease down to 90 miles an hour just before we reach the next signal. On the left uh, is it parked a class 70, which is one of the supplied locos with the um, Swansea to Bristol route. Just going to start cutting the power off now as we are approaching a speed reduction down to 70 miles an hour and just under a mile. Get a warning for the 70 mile an hour speed limit. So, step one of braking should bring us down nicely. Just cutting off the power again.
after the next signal the speed limit increases uh, again to 80 miles an hour but there's not much point in speeding up as we are now approaching our first stop at Port Talbot Parkway, platform number one. Just going to start breaking down for the station now. And as we come to a stop here, we are looking out for a free car stop marker, which is just about here. Let's put the train into a full service brake application. Just going to pop the train into neutral so that the driver safety device does not sound whilst we are parked in the station. I'm going to move the camera out as well so we can get an external shot of the uh, train departing. So departing uh, Port Talbot, the speed limit is 80 miles an hour, but the uh, speed limit is now in, uh, just coming up to increase into 90 miles an hour. And we've got about five miles to go uh, to our next stop at Neath. Over the uh, week that I've been recording this video, I've been out and about with my uh, video camera and my ro uh, and my uh, external microphone uh, to uh, film some trains uh, in the uh, area. I've been down to Askham. Uh, I've been concentrating on Askham Station, which is the first station stop north of Barrow on the Cumbrian coastline, and I've been going down there to get a couple of tra uh, one train coming down from Carlisle, the other one coming back up from Barrow again. Uh, the Carlisle depa uh, the departures from Carlisle being formed of a single car class 153 Sprinter and the departures from Barrow being formed by class 37 uh, diesel locomotives. 
uh, with stock hired from uh, direct rail services so it's all um, uh, it's all come out rather nice uh, and with the uh, new stereo microphone which I purchased uh, over Christmas uh, it all sounds very nice too so I hope to get that out uh, onto YouTube as soon as I possibly can but I wanted to get this video done first So we've just got a warning for 70 miles uh, for a reduction down at 70 miles an hour. So I'm just going to start breaking the train down now. Just got advance warning of a further speed reduction down to 35 miles an hour on the approaches to Neath Station. So I'm just going to bring the train down into step 3. And as we uh, come to a stop, we are again looking out for a free car stop sign. So I think we've just overshot that. So I'll just put a full service brake application on. And we're just going to stop right down at the end of a platform.
as you can probably see on the track monitor we uh, are climbing up a, a, a quite a stiff gradient here but as we reach the uh, top of the hill after the next signal the speed limit in, uh, decreases down to uh, from 75 to 65 miles an hour Just lost about, uh, lost about 31 points of speed in there because I wasn't concentrating properly. Uh, but we do actually now have a speed increase to 90 miles an hour. But there's not much point in uh, speeding up to that as shortly after the speed drops down to 70 miles an hour, of which we've just received advance warning for. And we're not too far away from Swansea now either. Also on top of that uh, we are uh, going downhill once again. Just keeping a constant check on the speed here, as the train uh, will have a tendency to run away. Just uh, received advanced warning for a reduction down to 40 miles an hour. And that's coming into effect uh, just after this signal. So I'm just going to bring on the brakes once again.
just going to start applying the brakes now as we are dropping down the hill once again. Now passing the uh, train wash and depot at Swansea. The class 175s are stabled and maintained primarily at Chester, uh, which was purpose built for the uh, for the class 175s. As the gradient rises, we get advanced warning of a final speed reduction down to 20 miles an hour, which comes into effect just after this cautionary aspect warning us of the dead end siding at Swansea. And here we are, journey's end at Swansea. So we'll just wait for the uh, scenario to clear. And there we are, and that's the end of the scenario. And despite our little hiccup in the speed, we've got uh, the full, uh, uh, we've got a gold star rating, so quite happy about that. So, I'd just like to thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you have enjoyed watching it. Uh, the next train simulator video I would like to do is on the recently enhanced Armstrong Powerhouse HST with the MTU. Uh, engine sounds and that will be on the Riviera line between Exeter St David and Paynton. So thank you very much for watching this video, I hope you have enjoyed it and I shall see you next time.